Hello my dear students, welcome to the MS Science Academy. Myself Meenu Srivastava and today we are going to discuss about the Cori cycle. As we know in the previous lecture, I have discussed that the Cori cycle is the part of the gluconeogenesis. As in the gluconeogenesis, I have described that the glucose formation from the non-carbohydrate source is known as the gluconeogenesis. In that process, I, will, I have discussed about the conversion of lactate into the glucose. So today we are discussing about the Cori cycle separately because in BSc nursing and in the uh, BSc biotech also it has the separate uh, separate topic for the Cori cycle. That's why today we are going to discuss about the Cori cycle. Now the Cori cycle is mean the lactic acid conversion into the lactic acid the uh, sorry the formation of lactic acid into the glucose. So, this cycle is also termed as lactic acid cycle, okay. So, this cycle is also termed as lactic acid cycle, okay. Lactic acid cycle because the main substrate for the gluconeogenesis is the lactic acid or we can say lactate, okay. Lactic acid or lactate. This cycle was discovered by Carl Ferdinand and the uh, Carl Ferdinand uh, Cori and Gertie Cori, okay? Discovered by Carl Ferdinand Cori and Gertie Cori and Gertie Cori, okay? Okay, Carl Ferdin uh, uh, Ferdinand. It's a Ferdinand, Ferdinand Cori and the Gertie Cori. Okay, so the definition, what is the definition of the Cori cycle? The definition of the Cori cycle is, is that the conversion of muscle lactate, okay, no, I will uh, write the definition simultaneously. The conversion of lactate into the conversion of muscle lactate uh, muscle lactate conversion of muscle lactate into glucose but in the but not in skeletal muscle it uh, it takes place in liver the main thing is that this conversion takes place in liver it's a main point it is conversion takes place in the liver why is it so in the liver because two main enzyme two key enzymes are absent in the skeletal muscle which are compulsory for the conversion for uh, lactic acid into the glucose okay so two key enzymes why is it so why it why it happen in liver because two key enzyme two key enzymes are absent in skeletal muscle absent in skeletal muscles named first is glucose 6 phosphatase and fructose 1 fructose 1 6 by phosphatase these are the two main enzymes which are absent in the skeletal muscle that's why the conversion of lactic acid is uh, happen into the liver but the main question is that that First question you have to keep in your mind that why the lactic acid is generated in the skeletal muscle. Now for that uh, to answer this question we have to go on the glucose. Okay. Now come to the glucose complete oxidation process. As the glucose convert into the pyruvate and this process is known as the glycolysis. For glycolysis no oxygen is compulsory 
means the conversion of glucose into the pyruvate the oxygen is not essential it can happen into the aerobic as well as aerobic as well as anaerobic condition okay but the pyruvate is further metabolized by the tca cycle into the co2 this is the complete metabolization of the glucose okay but the conversion of the pyruvate into the co2 this tca cycle oxygen is essential oxygen is essential and means the aerobic condition are very much essential getting my point okay aerobic condition are very much essential so for that complete oxidation this glucose one glucose is converted into the co2 and approx 38 atp is generated okay so complete oxidation of glucose into the co2 around 38 atp is generated but suppose that if the pyro after the conversion of uh, pyruvate suppose that there are some critical condition or we can say some anaerobic conditions develop in the muscle or in any body uh, or in the other cell so the pyruvate convert into the lactate okay the pyruvate is convert into the lactate when when it is happen it only in the anaerobic condition this is the main thing okay so why is it always happen or why it is happen in the skeletal muscle because the skeletal muscles are associated with the movement of our skeletal or bone suppose that if our body is doing over workout or doing intense workout or doing something uh, heavy uh, heavy work if we are if our muscles are doing if our uh, bones are doing so that's why our skeletal muscle need more and more oxygen for that particular time but if uh, when uh, at that time when we are breathing that oxygen is not sufficient to convert the complete glucose into the pyru uh, into the uh, co2 okay so that oxygen which we are taking through the breathing that oxygen is not sufficient for the full oxidation of the glucose okay so for that the pyruvate undergoes the anaerobic condition and the lactate is generated but lactate or we can say the lactic acid is quite harmful so our skeletal muscle have to convert into any other substance so that that substance is uh, non toxic or cat or we can say it's a less toxic so in this situation as the skeletal muscle has no enzyme for the gluconeogenesis or the conversion of uh, lactate into the uh, glucose so that's why the skeletal muscle take the help of liver cell because the liver has the glu main gluconeogenesis center so the glucose is convert into the two molecule one glucose molecule is converted into the two molecule of pyruvate and two molecule of pyruvate is convert into the two molecule of lactate in the help of ldh ldh full form is that lactate dehydrogenase so that two molecule of lactate when is generated simultaneously during the starvation the alanine can alanine also generated with the uh, in this process its name is the transamination transamination i will write separately here it's a trans amination okay so the pyruvate is convert into the two molecule of lactate and the alanine in the transamination and the pyruvate is convert into the lactate with the help of lactate dehydrogenase this lactate is with the via blood is just reach to the liver and in the liver that lactate is convert into the pyruvate with the same enzyme that is the lactate dehydrogenase okay and that pyruvate the gluconeogenesis process proceed because the liver has all the enzymes which are essential for the gluconeogenesis and the pyruvate is convert into the glucose and that glucose via blood is again reach to the muscle okay and if the aerobic condition is uh, uh, reached so 
uh, that glucose is convert into the again up to the CO2 complete metabolization. Okay, so this is the complete core cycle. What happened? The glucose is convert into the pyruvate. Oxygen is not essential for this conversion, but for the further complete oxidation, oxygen is essential. But suppose that there is a critical condition in the skeletal muscle that pyruvate is convert into the lactate, and that lactate is convert uh, is uh, reached up via blood to the liver, and these lactate is convert into the pyruvate, and this pyruvate is convert into the glucose with the help of gluconeogenesis process. This glucose again via blood is reached to the muscle system. Okay, here the pyruvate with the help of transamination, the alanine is produced. Okay, this is the kind of amino acid, and that alanine is again, okay, again convert into the further uh, alanine again just start the gluconeogenesis with the help of liver. Okay, so alanine is reached to the liver via blood and convert into the pyruvate, and again it convert into the glucose. That cycle is known as the glucose alanine co and glucose alanine cycle or Cohel cycle because it's the name of the scientist who discovered this. Okay, so this is the complete query cycle. I hope you enjoyed my lecture. One, one, one minute. The glucose, <laughs> one minute. In the conversion of two pyruvate into the glucose, six ATP is lost. Okay, six ATP means the cell uh, has the negative six ATP. Okay, but cell have to convert this process because this is the main, this is the only way to metabolize the lactate or to neutralize the lactate. Okay, so this is the main system to metabolize the lactate into the glucose and this is named as the Cori cycle, lactic acid cycle and this is the complete Cori cycle also. I hope you enjoyed my lecture. Any doubt kindly ask in the comment section. Otherwise, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.